Hey y'all, I'm back again. I'm in my kitchen and I'm about to cook. Well, I got some things on the stove. And I just want to show you guys what I use. Um, like I tell you guys, I'm a vegetarian and um, I'm trying to cook as healthy and safe as, as possible. So this is some plant-based macaroni. Okay, it doesn't taste any different. Okay, and um, I really like using this. This right here, um, I've been using it for some years off and on, but I'm gonna, you know, just start using it um, constantly now. I got it out of Harris Teeter, and I think it was like $2.99 or something like that. So I had another box, and I have that on boiling now to make my macaroni and cheese. Um, so I'm not doing recipes today um, because I don't feel like it. <laughs> this is the cheese that I'll be using. I have used this several times. And um, this is non-dairy, okay? And it's gluten-free. See, it says dairy-free. And it's gluten-free. So these are healthy choices that you can make in your kitchen if you want to. I choose to, so this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to turn off this fan. Oops, hang on a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to take my um, macaroni off the stove. This right here is cultured butter. It costs more, but it's well worth purchasing. It Unfortunately, only two sticks come in here. For the price, I think it's like uh, $5.79 or something like that. I wish that there were more sticks. But it is um, really healthy to use. Okay. Um, I'm going to have my milk. You guys know, I think I showed you guys my milk before. Um, it's so be. Uh, I'm sorry, so delicious. And so it's it's also non-dairy. Um and it's healthy. It's healthy for the body. So I have some yams that I'm not going to candy. I'm just going to bake them whole. I'm going to clean them. I'm going to oil them down. I'm going to put them in the oven and I'm going to bake them whole. And um, we're going to have them like that. Um, I've got some okra that's chopped up. Got to wash it, pat it dry, and I'm going to fry it. I'm not going to bread it. I don't like cornmeal, and there's no need to put flour on um, okra. Just take the okra and season it how you want it and fry it. Some people just put black pepper on it. Y'all know me. I'm flavorful. So I am going to put, you know, my seasonings on it, and I'm going to fry it in some olive oil. And this is what I have today. I need to get to the store, you guys. Um, and olive oil, I only use the extra virgin. Olive oil has gone up. It is ridiculous. Harris Teeter had two on sale. Um, they're not this brand. Um, they had two on sale for $5. But I look over and I saw a bigger bottle and it was $3.55. And I'm going, why would I buy the two when I don't need those two tiny little bottles? They were smaller than this for $5. So um, I purchased uh, one of them. Um, and I'm going to use these because I'm going to make a small um, baked stuffing. I'm going to make a small... <laughs> You got it. I'm going to make a small big stuffing and um, that's going to be about it for the day. And um, I just, you know, wanted you guys to see that I use healthy stuff. Now, I could take my pumpkin nipple bread and toast it and crumble it up like this, but ain't nobody got time for that, okay? <laughs> I, I, I'm not in. The, I'm really not in the mood to cook. That's the honest truth. I'm not in the mood to cook. So I'm gonna make a vegetarian um, stuffing, meatless stuffing. That's the only way I make my stuffing. But nobody would be able to tell the difference because I've had people that have my stuffing, and they don't know that there's no meat there. Because when I did cook with the meat and put it in there, I chopped it down so finely you would know that it was there. 
So, I mean, it tastes the same. You just got to know what you do. Y'all know I got my bell seasonings, okay? So, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed, um, you know, me showing you. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that there are healthy alternatives to, um, there are healthy alternatives to cooking, you know? Definitely healthy alternatives. And, you know, especially with things going on with my hubby. Now, these are things that I would normally eat, okay? Hubby didn't like. But hubby has to eat, okay? <laughs> Hello, hubby. <laughs> yes, we're still fighting about uh, him eating, and um, I I'm glad not. I'm not glad that what happened to him happened to him. I'm just glad that he has to come on over to the healthier side, okay? And you guys, I'm worked out, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good, you know. So, um, that done, I'm going to start working on my macaroni and cheese, get my stuffing going, and get those in the oven, hunty. Yes. And then I'm going to work on my um, potatoes and my, I'm sorry, my yams. <laughs> Y'all, mm, baked yams, no sugar, no nothing. Just plain baked yams, Mother Nature style. So good, so good, so, so good. Okay, and that okra, I'm gonna fry that okra and then I'm gonna let y'all see what that okra looks like today. All right, I love you guys, peace. Hey you guys, I just wanted to show you my free range eggs. These are the eggs that I use. And also, um, pardon my nail. No, don't pardon my nails. I cook and I clean, okay? And um, again, this is the kind of milk that I use. So it's so delicious and it's dairy free, coconut organic, unsweetened. So I use this in my cereals when I'm cooking and everything else. So this is really good. I love cooking healthy. So yeah, all right, you guys, be back. <laughs> hey gang. <laughs> well, my beautiful butterflies, I don't wanna call y'all again. Y'all know what time it is out here in these streets. Screets, screets. I'm talking to my son. Well, my macaroni and cheese is done. My okra is fried, baby. And um, my stuffing is almost done. The thing that's gonna take the longest is my sweet potatoes. Did y'all see how fat? I didn't show y'all how fat they were. My sweet potatoes is taking an awful long time to cook. So, um, yeah, and my beets are almost done. I didn't tell y'all I had beets, but I got beets. Yes, I do, yes, I do, yes, I do. So once my sweet potatoes get done and they're nice and soft and I can bust them open, I'm gonna plate this food up for y'all. And y'all know I don't do nothing fancy with the plating up of the food, cause I, 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 I just can't. I can't do nothing fancy with the plating up of the food, y'all. Ooh, I feel like Dolly Parton. Okay. <laughs> My bad, y'all. But that's how I look in this. I look like Dolly Parton. Well, I'll take that back. <laughs> Dolly Parton wish. I look like uh, my ancestors. My mama had big meatloaf. My mama got big meatloaf. What did you call it, meatloaf? I guess once you get older, you can call it meat love. My grandma and my great grandmother. So I'm blessed in the breast. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just crazy. Just having a crazy time. Doing a little chit chat here. Hubby's over there working my working my nerve. Working. I gave him some broth to shut him up. But he don't know how to shut up. And my baby boy's over here. Going through the fridge, getting leftovers so that he can have lunch for work. Lord have mercy. Y'all, leftovers in this house? <laughs> oh, they become lunch. They really do. They become lunch. anti who's in any ways. I just wanted to come back because this thing's been sitting so long. I'm surprised at how long it's been sitting. Y'all see, I 
still have these ugly bumps in my face and I know that came from the mask and some from messing with those um, tomatoes which I had some more of but you know like I said I had to sacrifice because I was having pain in my liver and I can't be having pain in my liver and um, I know some other things to clean it up but tomatoes act really really fast and so that's why i ate the tomatoes you guys um there was something else i was going to show you i used some um broth and i always use vegetarian broth i don't use chicken broth in my kitchen i don't use beef broth if it's not vegetarian bouillon or vegetarian broth i'm not using it that's all to it but that's what i use um and and um to go in my stuff in and I forgot to show it to you guys and they're by Knorr it's K-N-O-R-R -R. so um, yeah like I said healthy eating vegetarian style all right you guys I love you and I'll be back when my food is done and I'm gonna plate it up it's still early it's not even nowhere near dinner time I just wanted to cook early because I know that some of these things take a long time and I just made a small little um loaf uh, vegetarian stuff in, and I made a um, oh yeah well you guys know I made the macaroni and cheese I'm just waiting on these sweet potatoes these sweet potatoes are going to take a while so hopefully they'll be done before dinner and I can show it to you guys I love you guys alright peace thanks Okay, gang, so dinner is all done. I am finished, hunty. So here, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to have to hold my plate and hope that it doesn't tip off. Here's that stuffing. Here are some beets. Here is my fried okra, hunty. And that's that macaroni and cheese. And here I have that baked pota um, sweet potato. I put some butter and some black pepper and some ginger and hunty. It is delicious. Mm. Isn't that colorful? I love to eat colorful plates. I just got to watch my starches and I'll be safe. All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging with me. And um, I love you guys. I wish you all a pleasant Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of the week. I'm sorry, y'all. I shouldn't be talking with food in my mouth, but guess what? This is good. <laughs> this is good. It's delicious. That okra is good. Mm. Next time I may cook with you guys. I'm sorry, I hate to talk with food in my mouth. It's so rude. I may cook with you guys next time and show you my recipes, but today just was... One of those days when I felt like getting in the kitchen, busting it out, and not sharing. <laughs> it's just what it is. All right, you guys, I'm going to top that off with some nice cold water and call it a day. I love you, my beautiful butterflies. All right, peace.